Sometimes they're just in straight lines. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to maybe go off on a tangent and ask you a couple of quick questions and see if anybody can give me a, a, a reasonable answer to it. Has anybody heard of ley lines? Heard of them, you say? Yeah. No. no. Ley lines are quite big from where uh, where I come from in the UK. Um, and they are said to be lines of energy that tra traverse the country. And um, people have said, oh, these lines where they cross, people have set up churches and towns and stone monuments and things. Uh, I quite, I believe it goes the other way. Uh, the reason why I think this way, can, uh, I'll start with another question. Can any of the, well, the only one that knows ley lines is, I suppose, Sandy. <laughs> Sandy. <laughs> Can you hazard a guess as to how the ley lines came about in the first place? Not a clue. Not a clue? <laughs> no. <laughs> I have a theory, and the theory is based on physics. Energy is neither created, it's neither, it, it cannot be destroyed. It's got to be transferred. Right, energy exists and it must be transferred. Now, ley lines cannot just happen. They need to be created by something. So, my theory is that when people walk along these paths, they are transferring energy from walking. And people have been walking these paths for centuries and centuries, so their energy has become a straight line across the land. Now, the reason why there's churches and stone monuments crisscrossing these at points where these lines crisscross is simply because people have walked to these points, to the churches, to the stone monuments. They're not being created on a cross of the lines. The lines have been created because these things are there in the first place, and people are simply walking to get to those points. And they've been attributed to everything from aliens to spirits to, it's, it's just been amazing. That was a little bit of the history about it. But what we can do is we can trace these lines we have ways of tracing these lines. And it's simply because our mind can pick up energies. Um, people have known this for years. Uh, the natives, they've, they've dealt with energies and spirits for, for years, for centuries even. Um, people can do it. You might think, you know, you're in, you have an inability to find energies, to find spirits, to mm. find things like that. The, Everybody has the ability. Yeah. You've just got to be in the right frame of mind. And people, you know, that's what they often think is that you've got to be, you know, some sort of special medium or something like that to, you know, pick this stuff up. And it's, it's just simply not the case. So one way of doing it, and it's simply an extension of the mind, is what they are, a technique they use called dowsing. And I don't know if any of you have dowsing before. You might see them, they've got twisty sticks and coat hangers and things. Oh, yeah, I know what Right? Yeah. Yeah. You usually see, see people with them and they're looking for water. That's, oh, that's pendulums? Yeah. Pendulums will work as well. Yeah, yeah I've got pendulums. Yep. Now, the great thing was the first tour we'd done here, and I asked anybody if they had uh, heard of dowsing. One guy done it professionally for the oil companies. He doused professionally for an oil company. It's not a mumbo jumbo. These big companies recognise it and they employ people to do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to introduce this labyrinth to you and suggest that people using it as a meditational labyrinth trace their way around this stone labyrinth and transfer their energy into the ground. So if that theory is correct, we can use dowsing rods to find the paths. So what I've done is I've got along the whole collection of dowsing rods and I'm going to... You guys are going to do it. <laughs> now, might seem a bit strange. Trust me. turning really good. Turn. 
Investigating paranormal. Your mind needs to be in the right focus, it needs to be in the right frequency to do it. You've got to be perfectly calm. Now you guys have been walking about, I know you've been fighting the wind and all sorts of things and they've been going all ways for you, but the thing is you've been concentrating while you've been doing it. So your mind has been emptying, you've been focusing. So no matter whether it worked or not, you're now in a better frame of mind than when you walked into the park to start with. Yeah. Right? Now when we go on investigations, we have all sorts of techniques to, allow, to help us calm our mind before we go out. This is just one of them. You know, some people go into elaborate uh, meditations, um, all sorts of stuff, but anything will do. Anything that's just going to allow you to clear your mind and focus on one point. In this case, it was a point of a, a steel rod. It helps. It gets you there. Okay. And it works in pretty much every situation. If you know, if, if you're, you know, stressed, anything like that. As soon as you can sort of clear that resistance out of your head, um, it's it's amazing. Just you know, you, you suddenly have access to the answers you were looking for. Right people start showing up. All of that kind of thing. So it's 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 really really important. And in these cases, especially when we're talking about energies and beings of energy, typically they see the the living and people as energy so if you're going to a place that's you know and you're feeling frustrated or angry or anything like that that's the first message you're sending out if you guys want to think about it like you know if you go into an office or something like that it's kind of the same idea you know if somebody's having a bad day before they even open their mouth you know they don't have to tell you you just you feel it from them we're queued up to understand this stuff which is really great but the thing is is that when it comes down to haunted stuff people kind of they, they forget that and they forget that that can you know can send the wrong message so throughout this evening I think you guys you, you guys are gonna see more and more of you know how that is important and, and why that does impact you so I think our next spots the alley yeah we'll head up yeah